Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, my name's Simon, if you don't know me. Um, I'm part of the St George's staff team, um, heading up the work of Christians Against Poverty for them. And a um, great privilege to, to just share a few thoughts this morning with you. Um, I don't remember the first lockdown um, that we had a few months ago. Um, we had fairly regular uh, devotionals, and uh, I found them a great encouragement um, at the beginning of each day as we just heard what uh, the Lord had laid on people's hearts. And um, God's been speaking to me very clearly in recent days, something that's really been on my heart to share, and it's great to have this vehicle to do so. I'm actually going to do it in two parts, um, and the subject is um, on dreams, visions, and pictures. Now, I don't know whether you're like me, but in, in my younger Christian walk, I was always quite sceptical about um, those sorts of things, thinking that they were probably more for biblical times than current times, and always a bit um, sceptical of people who said that they had visions or pictures from God. But um, in recent years, I've been much more open to it. And in fact, thinking back over the years to times when um, God has very clearly spoken to me, but I've not really allowed that um, thought to come into my mind. I've just sort of brushed it aside, not developed um, what the Lord is trying to say to me. But in recent years, I've been much more open to that. And I just thought I'd share an example of it with you this morning. That example is um, following uh, one of my morning runs. I, I try and go for a run most mornings if I can. And inevitably come home a bit hot and sticky, so uh, I go up and have a shower to, to clean myself ready for the day. And um, it was during one of my morning showers a few weeks ago that God spoke very, very clearly to me in, in pictures. As I stood in the shower, um, I was very mindful of the, the shower head um, over above my head, pouring out the water, and um, really that reminded me very clearly of God and his sort of helicopter view of our lives, as it were, looking down on us with, with his love, and his kindness, um, but watching over us. And as I thought about that, God very clearly revealed to me that um, the soap is like Jesus, isn't it? You know, Jesus' blood cleanses us from all, all our sin, all the things we've done wrong, um, be it guilt or shame, you know, jealousy, anger, all the different things we, we struggle with as humans. Um, Jesus forgave them all. You know, Romans 8 verse 1 says, There's no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. And it is through forgiveness by Jesus, cleansing us like that soap, that um, we can be clean before God. Then the water, God spoke to me very clearly about the water being like the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit refreshes us, doesn't it? Everyone who comes in faith to Jesus and accepts him as their saviour um, gets the gift of the Holy Spirit. And it's a wonderful thing to have our consciences heightened, to have encouragement in our lives through the Holy Spirit. And that refreshing that we can know through him indwelling us. So it was a wonderful picture for me to just develop that in my mind, not just um, um, excuse it and sort of uh, ignore it, but to really develop that. And I thought, wow, this is such a blessing from God. And I thought it'd be great to, to share it with other people. But um, just as I was about to get out of the bath, God revealed one more thing to me, really. And that was um, the fact that I'd been standing very securely on, on a bath mat. I wasn't slipping and sliding around. And of course, that's really important for the Christian as well, isn't it? That we have good roots, that we, we can read God's word that unpin, underpins our lives. It's secure, isn't it? We're not going to slip and slide around our lives if we're looking at God's word re regularly, taking on board its truths and allowing it to speak to us. So, yeah, some lovely pictures that um, God revealed to me. And I thank him for his patience with me continuing to reveal those sorts of things to me and allowing me to develop those in, in my mind. So I, I just uh, pray really today that um, you'll ponder these thoughts. Um, maybe you're somebody who does have pictures and uh, maybe it's something you keep to yourself. So I would encourage you um, maybe to just share those thoughts with others. Um, you may feel a little bit uh, nervous about doing that, but you know sometimes it can be a great encouragement to others as well and actually be an answer to prayer for others as well. It can reveal things to other people that maybe they've not thought themselves through what you're saying to them. So I'd encourage you to have the courage to do that and to step out. As I say, this is part one of my thoughts because God, in his grace, revealed even more to me about that same situation just a few weeks later. And um, I look really forward to, to sharing part two with you um, very soon. So uh, thank you for listening. I pray that it's been um, edifying for you and encouraging for you. And please do just... Uh, Develop those thoughts uh, when God sends them to you, be they in dreams, be they in visions, be they just in, in pictures. And uh, thank you for listening. God bless you.